This filtry box is doing a great job around the house, keeping clean. We even brought it upstairs a bit to uh, clean up the air when the Canadian wildfires were getting especially bad in my neck of the woods. But the box at Noble Labs is in terrible shape. Cut to video of that thing. And they asked for one that we could replace the filters more easily, because I guess duct tape is just too much. But got the CR30 printing some parts out. See what we can do about making it a modular box. I originally wanted to make this all out of TPU, but even with the modified CR30, I proved just getting too much stringing, too much roughness. It's also interesting, this is a much harder TPU. Guy. The shore hardness is a huge variation, maybe due to moisture, but these are just PLA, they'll do fine. And these are 500 millimeter sections of 2020 aluminum extrusion, very basic, very easy. These screws I'm using are mildly cursed, these are uh, 1032 trilobial screws. So they are self-locking. Again, the uh, trilobe here. It's a bit of a triangular end. With a wobble. They're just great for locking into 2020. project is an interesting mix of inch and metric, but I wanted something that used a CR30. These could be easily made in halves and just joined together. This is just going to slot right on there, remove the support materials. But so we make a square frame out of these guys and eight pieces of the 2020. Once we've done that, we'll be able to slot the filters in. Let's see how it works.
do make sure you put the fan on the correct direction. But for here, I'm going to attach the fan to the frame. Then we have the ability to swap out each of the filters individually as they get all filled up. This is your modern take in a Corsi Rosenwald box. I'll throw these beam sections up on uh, check the link down below. But yes, new boxes for the makerspace with easier to replace filters thanks to the CR30. Thanks for watching and uh, happy printing.